Hello, we are going to discuss in financial management the related disciplines and uh, what we had already uh, in our material are the goals in finance and the actions in finance. So we are going to discuss the second one, which is disciplines related to finance. And the last item will be financial market, which is directly um, uh, somehow um, related also to chapter two of your text. The first three items discussed, numbers one to three are all presented. In your chapter one, it's merely an expanded version. Okay, so let's have a recap. Uh, in finance, the goal of the fear that we have to remember would be maximizing shareholders' wealth, okay? Which would be uh, the basis will be always market price, whether it be market price per share or market price of the fare. So that's the uh, most important one, the market price for us to be able to uh, achieve the goal. No? Now, uh, though we do have internal and external, but your foremost concern will be the shareholders' wealth. And we also learn about the 10 axioms, okay? which serve as the guiding principle. And for each chapter that we're going to discuss, we would be relating that to actions. Okay. Now, uh, what are the disciplines related to finance? Uh, chapter 1 made mention of the primary discipline, and those are accounting and economics. Then you have management and marketing so let's discuss each item uh, since there is a need for us to always begin with the end in mind we would be using the five w's approach and the tipos or the tools input process output and storage to better understand the concept since normally we're going to have concept drills concept que uh, check in addition to problems and cases that we are going to have in the class. So, what's the output in finance? That would be decisions or economic decision. Regardless of the topic that we're going to discuss, it will always be decision. Uh, be it financing or investing or operating decision for the business. And what would serve as input to financial management? The input will be from the primary and the secondary discipline, which are accounting and economics, then marketing and management. If it is accounting, what information will be provided? Of course, it would be quantitative information and this quantitative information will be coming from the firm. So this is an internal information. On the other hand, if it is economics, these are mostly, mostly qualitative information. And it may either be internal or external sources. Now, if it is marketing, it is quantitative and qualitative because quant quantitative in the form of sales projection and most often this is from external sources and in management it is uh, mostly qualitative and you do have internal and external sources now let's have the details of primary discipline now what will come from accounting if we are using that as an input it will be the financial statement and since uh, uh, the, these disciplines are interrelated. The financial statement is the output of accounting, which will serve as input in finance. And the indicators no, with your financial statement is passed since it is 
pass oriented. And what is P? That is uh, three P's, profitability, performance, and productivity. And what would be your A? This would be your statement of gas flow. This would be the three activities, and these are financing, investing, and operating. Then your S is in your balance sheet or statement of financial possession. This would be solvency, and you have sustainability, and you have stability. So the P is for the statement of operation. The A is for the statement of cash flow, and the S will be for your statement of financial possession. And since your output would be decision, normally it will be facilitated one model or one tool that would facilitate your output uh, would be preparing for financial statement analysis, which we are going to do in the class. And that is what we call fundamental analysis. And technically speaking, the result would be used in the future. Although the basis would be the financial statement, which is uh, pass-oriented. And the decisions that you have to make based on the fin financial statement analysis that you have prepared, it would make an assessment ba uh, on the profitability, the solvency, the activity, liquidity, and market competitiveness and the market value of the firm, which we call it SALM. So the decision that will be facilitated by accounting with the use of the financial statement will actually be the sum. Okay? And the tool that we're going to use is financial statement analysis. Okay? So, what would be the why in accounting? We, we know already the session, which will be in the form of pass and sum. And where are we going to have the basis? We're going to you have the Philippine Financial Reporting Standards. And the accounting period that's normally related to accounting would be a fiscal year basis or calendar year basis. Who would do this? The bookkeeper or the accountant. And what are you going to do in order for you to make the session and in order for you to have financial statement? it will be facilitated by the accounting functions. And so this is what I made mention before with regards to your why, profitability, liquidity, and solvency, okay? Presented in your statement of operation, statement of gas flow, and your statement of financial position. And these are your accounting functions. Recording, classifying, summarizing, and interpreting. It's the interpreting function that would uh, be uh, discussed in our subject matter. And, of course, summarizing is related to financial statement, and financial statement analysis is related to the future. How about economics? Economics will be actually... The input, we have to know who is the entity. Is it the firm, the household, or the government? And it would be subdivided into the micro icon and the macro icon. And when you take a look at the firm, you have to look into the decisions made by the firms as well as the individual and how demand and prices are being determined in the market. Of course, your foremost concern with the business environment is how we're going to allocate resources as well as how to increase our productive capacity. So, if firms, household, or individuals in government are the economic units, then how is it divided? It may be divided either private or public. And we have firms will be called corporate finance which will be our subject matter of finan uh, financial management will form part of corporate finance or sometimes it's almost the same and household would have personal finance it's a different subject matter and government will be related to public finance 
At the same time, when you talk about economic units, it may either be a surplus unit or a deficit unit. And most often, the surplus unit will always be the household. Okay? Always. Unlike the firm, it may sometimes be a surplus unit or a deficit. And based on our experience with the government, of course, it is a deficit unit. Okay? We know that when you say surplus, you have an excess. No? You have savings of which you can invest. On the other hand, if it is deficit, I deposit rather deficit. <laughs> you you have uh, less source than uh, your diba? what you are going to use for uh, utilization or what you have used no uh, in your uh, activities. So mas madami ang use uses kesa sa sources. Now, what would be the focus of microeconomics? And, and why it would affect our subject matter. Because you have market, uh, individual, uh, and then you have the labor market. And we need to know the price, the market price. Diba? Kaya microeconomics would affect finance. On the other hand, on the macro level, we are actually affected by all of this, especially inflation. No? Kasi kailangan natin doon sa ibang, sa ibang model na gagamitin natin. And if you take a look at the scope of microecon, we need to make use of the theory of product pricing and the theory of factor pricing. No? How about the theory of economic welfare? Uh, There's three items would be actually covered in other subjects. No? Then, if... The both macro and, and, and micro would be related to us. Then take a look at the scope of macroeconomic theories. We need this, the theory of money. No? And we also need the theory of international trade. And of course, when you talk about policy, both we are going to be affected, the fiscal and monetary policy. Okay. And this are a specific uh Discussion on, or not discussion, but a material for you to differentiate between macro and micro. No? Then, uh, what would be our five W's in economic? Of course, we have to make decisions for the firm, business decision. We are focused on the domestic and international trade. This would affect your present and the future and the short-term and long-term goal. And we are focused on the firm as one of the economic units. And your major concern will be allocation of resources and productive capacity with your what. And what would be our key takeaways? So in finance, this is already in finance relating to the primary decision, primary discipline. Of course, we have to make financial decisions. What are those? financing and investing, then you have operating. We are going to discuss about financial markets as part of where and the planning and controlling mechanism in finance. Um, we have to determine the effect on a short-term basis and on a long-term basis and who normally be involved in making decisions for the firm. Uh, that would be the financial manager or the chief financial officer and what are we going to be involved with financial valuation no so you have to remember we have solved for the decision how about with the typo and then we have to remember we need to include the s no the storage because that would be documentation kasi nakakatipos pag wala kang alam mo yun, evidence wala kang documentation pag may dinedemand sa atin di ba na reports so what would that be it would be, if we are going to discuss the financial statement analysis, we're going to have ratio, vertical, horizontal, and trend analysis as your tool, and your input will be FS. Your process will be financial statement analysis. And that is for decision, no? economic decision, and uh, which would be uh, related to accounting decision.
and what are the documentation that we need you have to keep your financial statement and financial report if it is your financial management of course your tool are all the discipline the primary and the secondary and your input will be your fs your market value your inflation your price level and this would facilitate the valuation process what again the decisions that we have to make financing investing and operating and likewise uh we made mention previously that we need to keep our FS and, and financial report as your, your storage you know, or as your documentation. So that would be with the primary discipline. We would be discussing um, your uh, secondary discipline later. Okay. So, so thank you very much for listening. Uh, good day and keep safe.